All right, I wanted to show y'all. I had got the inverter in. They sent me a new inverter, and it looks way different, a little different from the uh, original one I had. And keep in mind, when these first came out, I purchased the EG4 inverter. So, you know, I had like the new batch, you know, and I understand problems are going to happen. But my argument with the EG4 inverters are, you know, there's people that's only relying off of the EG4 inverters only, and that is off grid. Now, if I didn't have a second system with the GrowWatt 12K, then I would pretty much be without power or I would have to use my generator, which would cost me way more money using a propane generator, you know, versus using renewable energy, which is my solar panels and the battery backups that I have here. And I also want to state another problem. I think I'm having a problem with this in EG4 inverter. I'm gonna let y'all look at it and see how it different is. See how those are black and how that looks. Y'all take a good look at that one. And how it's all set up. And then I'm gonna take y'all back over here, up here on the, uh, the one they just sent me. If you look at that, it's a little bigger over here. And it's gray, way different. Looks different. And look how they did the copper. You know, they went put them in so you know the coppers go there. Okay, so, you know, getting better. I think everything's under here is still the same. So I'm just showing y'all, I'm installing this now, but you know, a couple hit me up on uh, Instagram, not Instagram, but uh, YouTube about having a problem with the bypass. Well, I think I'm having that problem now because I was using my bypass on this inverter by itself before I, you know, before they sent me the second inverter, I was using bypass. And when I got home, my power was off and I'm like, man, what, you know, what did I do different that I haven't been doing every day? Cause it's never had this issue. So I had the bypass on, which I had batteries draining. I mean, not draining. I had this right here getting power from the grow watt. So I was like, I had it in bypass mode, sending power over because you know, these batteries right here was low. So I use it like power batteries to send over power. And excuse the mess, I'm I'm starting to, you know, clean up and install this inverter for the first time since they sent it to me. So this inverter is tripping my batteries. Every time I cut it on, it gives an alarm on the batteries. Like right now the battery's on without being hooked up to the invert and it's working fine you see it's the run is blinking and everything is working fine but the moment i hook it up to the eg4 inverter that i the old one it alarms now and the only thing i had different on there is the bypass mode uh you know i left it on so it can charge the batteries because you know these batteries was low so i used these batteries to charge them up that's the only thing that i did different that i have never you know really done using the bypass mode. So I'm going to hook this one up, the new one, by itself to these batteries, and I'm going to cut it on and see if it trips that alarm. And I'll let y'all know. I'll get back with y'all when I do that. All right, I'm back. So the inverter cut on. So now that lets me know something's going on with this inverter because the battery's not alarming anymore, and it's working. Well, at least it's on. I have enough. Uh, did all the settings yet but it did come on and the batteries didn't alarm so that lets me know we're having a problem with that and it it was it had to be caused by the bypass mode because that's the only thing i had on was the bypass mode and before that everything was working fine never had an issue with this uh inverter and now you know i'm having a problem and i know it started with the bypass mode because that's the only thing that i you know did different was cut on the bypass so I'm going to hit up EG4 with Signature Solar, whichever one, you know, respond back to me to see how can I fix this issue. And this is not to, you know, down products, but I always say, like I said earlier, you know, it's all about being off grid. Like I'm totally off grid. I have no other power source, but, you know, solar batteries and inverters. So I need reliable inverters. I don't need stuff that's going to have problems, you know. And, you know, if you follow me and you know, 
I always tell y'all to get a second system. So my thing is now, I'm going to have to find a reliable inverter. I'm not going to, you know, keep bashing because I already made a video saying I would never buy the EG4 inverters again. And, and I meant that. I would never purchase them again. Only reason why I got this new one here is because, you know, the warranty of the last one that I had, you know, I didn't even have it that long and it caused that issue. But I'm just not, I'm just, you know, kind of tired of dealing with it. You know, it takes time and energy to break down these systems and put them back together. That's not what I want to be doing. I've had the MPP solar for years and I've never had to keep breaking it down, figuring out what's going on with it. It has, it still worked to this day. To this day, that inverter still works. And it was only a 5K inverter and I was using that just to run the house. But I wanted to amp up, you know, the power so this is 13.5 k no i'm sorry this is 13 k because you got 65 65 so this is 13 k within both you know between both the inverters so that's enough to you know have the dryer running a microwave running charging my car even though i'm not going to do all those things at once having an ac on it's enough power for that you know because i do it on my 12k grow wide inverter you know but this, you know, now I'm going to have to hit them about this inverter to see what we can do about this one. I, let's just fix it. You know, I would prefer it be fixed as far as like you telling me what I need to do in order to fix it versus me having to send it in. You receive it. Then you send me mine. And it takes weeks to get the system back up and running. I'm not looking for that. I just want the system running because... Once I'm building a garage right now, I'm gonna get ready to start building the garage, and these inverters are gonna be in that garage. And once it's in that garage, I don't want to touch it anymore. I just want to run the power, all this. That's why everything, all these wires, because I got this cramped in one little tight space. So when I get it in the garage, everything will be clean, neat. I'll have time and enough room on the wall to run the wires down and conduit and everything. But right now, this is what I'm working with. I've been working with this for years. Never had a house fire. Never had any issues with the way I ran the wires or the way I do anything. You know, I know electrician, licensed electrician is going to look and say, oh, that's not how you do it. Well, like I said, I haven't had any problems. Haven't had any issues with none of the way I run my wires. And I'm not even licensed, but I know how to do all of this. You know, so I get why, you know, they tell you commercial and residential areas why you have to do it this way and that way that's on that's cool i'm off grid i do it the way i want to do it and like i say once i get it in the garage in an open space it'll be way better than this little cramped space that i have it in it's cramped right here and that's the way to wire. that's why the wires are the way they are but once i get in that garage everything will be fine but i'm just shooting this video you know for my you know warranty purposes that this the bypass mode on this one it won't cut on and i'll shoot another video trying to cut it on i'll try to hook it up and see if it'll come back on if it come back on great i don't have to go through this warranty process sending it or trying to figure out what's wrong with it that's what i prefer to happen but hey well i'll talk to signature solar and we'll figure out what we'll, what we'll do from there but it's always problems with the invert so i'm gonna keep what i have but i'm never gonna buy these inverters again all right so i'll see y'all when i start hooking this inverter back up I'm gonna hook this inverter back up right here. Like I say, this one is on. I'm about to, you know, I'm about to set all the settings and everything on this one. The batteries are running. That's great, because I thought something was wrong with my batteries, but obviously it's something wrong with the inverter. But, you know, I'd rather the inverter be messed up than 20 kilowatts of, you know, lithium storage batteries. So, all right, I'll see y'all. I'll shoot a video a little later when I, once I try to cut this one on and let y'all see what it is what fault code or alarm code is getting. all right so i got both of them hooked up this inverter so i'm gonna power them on and let's see if it's gonna alarm my batteries it didn't alarm it when i had this one by itself now i got them both you know hooked up let's just see what it do nothing i'm getting nothing nothing's happening to the battery and I'm cut on, cut on. 
All right, so nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the solar and then I'm gonna see what it do after that. All right, jump back. Okay, so I hooked the solar up to this inverter and it, nothing. So I'm gonna hook it over here to the one they just sent me. And let's see if we can get any, uh, let's see if we can get any power. If I, once I hook them up to these. All right, so, sorry about the camera. I'm trying to do this and hold. Okay, so I hooked that up. Cut the switch on. Cut the switch on. So this one does come on. This one comes on. The new one. This one don't come on. Yeah, so. The battery didn't alarm. Now I want them to see the four lights illuminated. Inverter on. So. I'm gonna cut it off. Because I kind of figured out the problem. It's this inverter. This inverter won't come on. Everything is hooked up. I got it hooked to the same bus bar as I have this one hooked up to. And it's giving me nothing. I had the solar hooked up to this one. Didn't come on. But as soon as I put it on this one, it came on. Now, that, that sucks. Now, the fact that I just got this. Well, I've been got this inverter in about three weeks ago. But I just, I'm just not hooking it up. Because I just haven't had time. But now, I'm having an issue with this inverter. Man. You tell me about a problem. Problems after problems after problems. And like I say, I know the only thing that could have happened on here is the bypass mode. That's the only thing that I was running. I was using the life power batteries that's hooked up to the grow watt over here. And I had this EG4 inverter hooked up to the UFO batteries. And I was uh, sending power from the grow watt to here that's why y'all see on the output i have those three you know wires going into the output because i was sending power to charge up the ufo batteries with the life power batteries that's hooked up to the grow wire. that's the only thing that i was doing different everything was working perfectly fine until i start using the bypass mode and now the inverter won't even cut on so that's it for this video i'm gonna post it and like i say, i'm gonna get with uh EG4 or Signature Solar, and I'm going to see how can we resolve this problem, which we just fixed. I mean, they just sent me in this new inverter that looks totally different. If you, you know, you see, looks totally different than this one. So I don't know what the problem is, but let's, you know, let's hit them up and see what they say. All right, so here it is. Okay, so you see that it's back on one. And I do have this hooked up, which runs down here. That's going into, you know, the, the battery. So watch as I cut the battery on. Let's look at it. it alarms. Not only does that while wow, this one is hooked up. So if I take the battery post off of this inverter, then it's gonna work because this is the replacement that they sent me. There's nothing wrong with that one. But this one is alarming on. So let me cut that back off. I cut the brake off on the battery and you'll see it'll go back to, you know, run mode. You'll see the green lights and then run. So it's definitely an issue with this inverter. It won't even come back on. So I email Signature Solar and I'm waiting on them to email me back, and I, I, like I say, I don't know what's going on. It was working perfectly fine until I had it in bypass mode, and that's just where I'm at with it. I'm holding it by this battery because I, I cut the brake off, and I want to see, I want y'all to see that it'll come back to the uh, run. There you go, right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug these battery cables, and I'm gonna leave those ho hooked up. And you'll see that it'll work, but it's not working with this one. 